Hey, and welcome back. In this short video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to write a blog post using Optimize Press. So basically, you've logged in and you've clicked on Post, and this is where we're at. So there's been one post that's been written, but we want to write a new post. Okay, or actually, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to edit this post to optimize it. You can add a new one if you want to add a new post. Now, the title is mainly your keyword, and then this line, when you type in the title, the title is going to be repositioned here, as you can see in the in here. Okay, the philosophy of Philadelphia Pet Memorials. Okay, and you click OK on that. If you want to change that, this is your main keyword, then you would change that here versus up here. So you could change either or of those and just edit it. Okay. Now we're in HTML mode, so that's why you see coding. So we're going to go to visual mode and see how the normal viewer views the content. Now, I want to touch base on some things because if you ever want to add like a button, you just click on that button code and you can add like any of these buttons like add to cards, download now, register now, get access. So there's some cool buttons in here that you can add and simply all you've got to do, like let's say if you want an add to cart button or a sign up now button or a you know, check out now. So let's see sign up now. Come down here and you go add to page. You can see here I just added it. So then I would update and view post. And then when we view the post, it's going to show us the big sign up now button. So it's a massive button. Okay. So you got to be careful with what you want to put in there. So those are going to be generally going to be bigger buttons. You can screw around with them and find the button that you're really looking for. So let's say you want maybe a smaller button or maybe a little less discreet button. You can add that in there. And then refresh and you'll see your button comes in there as well. Okay, but that's a pretty big button. So you got to determine if that's the button you want there or not. Now, the other thing is the category. So categories are keywords and so are tags. Okay, you know you never want more than six keyword tags here. And you, and you only want, a, you know, three to four categories. So Philadelphia Pet Memorials would be a category. Um, if you're trying to rank for, you know, philosophy or the philosophy of Philadelphia Pet Memorials, then you would put that in there as well. To write, if you right click and just change, you can fix that error, spelling error. Um, if you'd like to add your own image, you just enter and you just find the image on your own desktop, okay, or you're on your own files and you select the files. Okay, so you can do that. If you want to add bullet points, you can do that. Or numbers, you can do that. Or if you want to add a quote, actually, let's see, quote would be something like, quote would be more like this, where you have the sayings and you just pop it in. Okay, so that's how you do that. Um, if you would add, like to add any other short codes, there's, that's that little like lightning bolt. You can add other things in here, like a divider line, add to cart buttons headlines, you can add a content box. Okay, so I'll show you what a light blue content box looks like, just for, just for uh, kicks. Come in, we refresh the, the blog post, and see, as you can see here, there's some, a blue content box. Okay, there's a lot of these little things you can do, little tricks you can do with Optimized Press. That's one of the reasons why I love Optimized Press, because you got all these different variations of options you can do. You can do a features box, okay, an order box, text bo a text bar, testimonial. Testimonials are cool. You can put those in there. You can put a secure order form or a risk-free order form in there. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff that you can do. You can do a guarantee. Let's do a 30-day guarantee. Okay, 30-day guarantee. Well, check it out. 30-day money-back guarantee. All right, that's cool. So there's a lot of things you can do. You just have to play around with it. Again, you want to add text, and then you want to take your keywords, and you want to link from your keywords to other pages or other posts. So you want to go here and click the link button, and as you can see, it links to the main home page, and the title tag is put up Pet Memorials, and it opens in a new window. And then you update. That's easy. Okay? Um, what else should you know? You should also know that if you want to upload an image, you have to upload an image here. So you upload the image from your desktop, and then save it and then make create a name for the image or an alt text uh, image 
title for the image. Okay, so this is important for keywords. It's all keyword relevant. Again, your tags, you want to put like six keyword phrases in here, you know, short or long, generally longer keyword phrase tags. And then you could also do on page SEO options, which I highly recommend you do. And that's you have a tag, which is which shows up at the top of your browser. Okay, or that's the first line that shows up in Google if you were to, to search for Philadelphia Pet Memorials. So it's Philly Pet Memorials, right? So let's go see what Google. So this, I want to show you the difference. This custom title tag is what you're going to see right here. Philadelphia Pet Memorials. Okay, you can put a phone number here if people to call you. That would be cool. But you can put whatever you want here. You could have that as that. And then your description, you want it to be longer than that because your description is going to show up here. So you want it to be nice, nice in length. Have some call to actions. Your meta keywords, you've already got those added. You want to leave these unchecked because you want the search engines to pick up your site. You don't need to worry about Google Analytics. You don't need to worry about any of these other fields down here. You really don't have to at all. Um, you leave them blank. And then you just update the page. You update, that saves it. And then, you know, that's it. That's the, that's the gist of how to write a blog post using Optimized Press, which is the theme that's powering this blog. So it's, it's really that simple. There's really not much more to it. Um, what we'll do is refresh the page. Nothing really has happened. We didn't really do much. Um, we can take you inside the page. I can show you some stuff. The other thing that you want to know is that you can add pages. And here's the template gallery, which you can check out the different types of pages you have. So you've got like squeeze pages, which look like this. And you've got a ton of different options for squeeze pages. You've got, um, beyond that, you have sales pages, where you can have a header, video content, and add cart buttons. Okay. These are also great ways of selling the best converting landing pages and sales pages that are around. And then you've got different blog pages. You can see this is the this is the primary blog template that we're using with picture and post. Picture and post with the content over here. Okay, so that's just some options on creating pages. As you can see, here's the blog. Also, you can set up as many tabs across the top of here as you'd like. Okay, right now we just have the blog tab that's hooked up to this blog that connects you to the blog. And so you can see again here it's all laid out. Okay, so that's it. That's all for this video. I hope this help, helped you write a post using Optimize Press.